my name is Peter Pedros and today I would like to talk to you about some basic features of Applied Safe and the benefit it brings to you. As the name Safe already implies, it is a framework and therefore it needs to be adopted, extended and interpreted for the use in your enterprise. And that is what you will do, right? So when you do that, the question is, how do I make sure that we have a common understanding of SAFE as a team, as a program, a portfolio, and as the whole organization? How do we support our people that there are no misunderstandings in the execution of their daily work? How to make sure that people, for example, new hires or new assignments to roles, that these people can excel in their work as fast as possible. And as a knowledge worker, how can I reduce waste in my daily work? That is the question of today. Before we start, a small reminder of what Applied Safe is in three sentences. We see basically three benefits with Applied Safe. It's mouse the complexity, it's accelerate transformation, and learn and improve. Today, we would like to concentrate on accelerate transformation. And our claim is that you need much less discussion time on how to interpret safe and that the ramp up time for new hours is dramatically reduced. So we're gonna see that what accelerate transformation means. For us, it means that you have a clear and common understanding of responsibilities, deliverables, outcomes, standards, and activities. For that, let's assume that we have a new hire in the company. Tom is very experienced in Scrum. He has been working in Agile team for many years. He's new to SAFE, just had his first PI planning meeting, SAFE for team training, and now he wants to see a little bit what portfolio is all about. So let's take it away from here. Tom is working in a portfolio safe configuration. And as Tom is interested to see what the portfolio is all about, he just clicks on portfolio. As we work with instances in Applied Safe, we have reduced the amount of information for a portfolio level already dramatically. As you see here, we just have the parts which are relevant for portfolio. As Tom wants to see what is Epic Kanban all about, he just clicks on Portfolio Epic Kanban and what he will see, what he sees right now is just a very simple process of Portfolio Epic Kanban. We see here the complete safe content from the Scaled Agile framework. We have all the safe content included and licensed in Applied Safe, so you see the original content from SAFE, and this has the advantage if Tom is coming from the training, he will see the same text, the same pictures again, and you don't have to rephrase that in your own words. So we see here that we have some activities, and Tom can change his view as well. He can say, okay, what can I see? I can see the roles, faces, inputs, output interfaces. Uh, for example, he can switch in the roles, and then you see swim lines of the responsible roles for these activities as well. What Tom is interested about is analyze EPIC and by clicking on that he gets the right information for what is needed for analyze EPIC. We have here a small content of the scale that shall framework uh, which is relevant for this activity and as you know analyze EPIC is also talking a lot about prioritization and there are different means of how you want to do prioritization so we see here some practices which you could use. You could use planning poker, you could use capitalization or worded shout this job first prioritization. If Tom doesn't remember that much what way the shortest job first prioritization is, he just can click on it and then he gets the whole information of that and also in which trainings he could attend in order to have that knowledge. I'm clicking back on Analyze Epic, just to go back there. And what Tom sees additionally is that there are some expected input artifacts 
and the output artifacts as well. So Applied Safe comes with a unique domain model of the scaled agile framework. And we see we have here an, an epic lean business case, which I have to produce. So if Tom is interested to see that, so he will click on that and then immediately he gets the description of it. He gets also the template for it where he can download the template and for which milestone is relevant. But he sees also that there are some processes which are dependent on that. Epic Kanban, we have just been in there and it will be further used in portfolio budgeting, portfolio backlog management, of course. Now, the question is, how are these things related in applied safe and in safe generally? For that, we are really proud of that we have a complete domain model of the scale that shall framework. Uh, it's in UML, it's a language that every engineer understands very well. And we see here the view of Epic Kanban. What we see is that we have a portfolio backlog which holds several epics, and epic is always either an enabler epic or a business epic. And regardless of that, it can has an hypothesis statement and an epic lean business case. And with these relations and cardinalities, you can imagine that the discussions, the understanding, and the implementation in tools like Jira or so on is much more straightforward because it's clear how these things relate, how these things are put together. An EPIC is also a backlog item, which is regarded as a requirement in the scaled agile framework. If Tom wants to see all the work products, he can click on work products, and then he sees the full view of portfolio level. So he sees all the work products in here and in light blue, there are the new ones with the newest version. In dark blue are those work products which existed already in prior versions. So if he is interested to see development value stream, he just clicked, click on that and then he would be navigated just straight through there. We don't do that for this purpose here right now, but what I would like to show you additionally is that we have roles because we set the ramp up time for new hires will be reduced dramatically. Tom sees here all roles of portfolio and Tom is interested to may become a lean portfolio manager. And if he wants to see all the information, he can go on lean portfolio manager. And he sees here, there are already two people assigned to that role on this particular portfolio. And he sees the description of the scale that shall framework but he sees also in which activity he's responsible as a lean portfolio manager, where he's accountable for supporting, informed, consulted, and so forth. If he clicks on the responsible, he's responsible for apply participatory budgeting, of course, and he can click on that, and then he will get that activity, which is relevant for him as well. But Tom is interested to see the role. So let's go back to the role of Lean Portfolio Manager. And there's also the possibility that Tom could see that in a graphical way. So he can say, show me all activities where I'm supposed to help with supporting. So he can generate that as well. And then he says, oh, there are several activities where I should support as well. With that, we narrow down the amount of information to absorb for a new hire to the bare minimum and leave them the possibility to add to the value chain as fast as possible. With that, I'm going back to the portfolio level. And if you want to see more about master complexity and learn and improve, just click on the different videos. Thank you and have a nice day.